My name is Ken Buxton and I created Odie, the ultimate grab it gadget. I use this all the time and it works like a charm. My daughter and I were going through the drive through and I dropped $5 between my car seat and my console. Uh, she tried to fetch it out with her little hand and her little nine-year-old hand couldn't even reach it. So obviously we couldn't get her food and it was frustrating. I went to all the major retailers that sell supplies that could possibly retrieve the money. This is what I came up with. This is more like a garbage application. This is just a flimsy little magnet and it's not gonna help you get a $5 bill. This one's just a magnet, linear, it has this little piece on here, but again, it's thick, no claw, no light. Another guy, this is just a claw, flimsy little claw. This is just a big chunky magnet, it has a light on it. This too here, this has this big head. You try to fish this big head in somewhere and you, it, do, it doesn't fit. Then you look at Odie, you see how small this, this head is. Once you lock it into place, look how, look how narrow this is. Look how narrow this is compared to all these products. It is similar to this one, but look at this. You can, you can change that angle. It also has the detachable light. So if you're trying to fish into awkward spots where you need your OD in one hand and your light in another hand, you can actually get into places that none of this works. It has this awesome detachable magnet. It's about 23 inches when fully extended. And then again, it has this flexible yet rigid end. And this all fits in your glove box. Some stuff you can get out, you know, with a, with a, with a coat hanger or, or a ruler or something else like that. But if it was change or something, you, know, you just leave it there. You can't get it out.
This is the only cordless car tire inflator that shuts off automatically when the chosen pressure is reached. The unit can be stored in a glove box and used at a moment's notice. Simply set the desired air pressure and squeeze the trigger. It inflates a car tire from 25 psi to 30 psi in just 90 seconds and can also be used to inflate bicycle tires, pool toys, and sporting equipment. The inflator's rechargeable battery lets you use it anywhere, or it can be powered by a car outlet. The only automatic cordless tire inflator makes it easy to maintain optimal air pressure. And like every item offered by Hamaker Schlemmer, it comes with a lifetime guarantee of satisfaction. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Today I want to talk about RV toilets and consumable products designed for RV toilets. Dometic offers a comprehensive line of toilets for RVs of all sizes. The 970 series toilets are portable and work great for small RVs, boats, and tent campers. Let's take a closer look at Dometic's portable toilets and some consumable products. Dometic also offers options for smaller RVs and tent campers with the 970 series portable toilets. These portable toilets feature powerful flushing at the touch of a button without constant pumping or batteries, setting the 970 series portable toilets apart from the rest. The 970 series portable toilets offer contemporary styling. They are available in tan or gray colors and in 2.6 gallon or 5 gallon waste tank capacities. All models have a 2.3 gallon freshwater tank. The high-strength ABS construction withstands camping and marine environments. Other features are the prismatic tank level indicator allowing for easy tank level monitoring, a full-size seat for comfort, and a latching lid for security. Dometic 970 series portable toilets are easy to use too. Let me show you. Remove the water cap and fill the upper tank until it reaches about one inch below the opening. Replace the cap. Pull the flush handle to open the slide valve and pour the pre-measured deodorant directly into the lower tank. Close the slide valve. Pump the air pump about 15 times or until air emits through the relief valve on the water cap. When the tank level indicator shows full, you empty the lower tank. To empty the tank, pull the flush handle to release any waste into the lower tank. Push the flush button to rinse the bowl. Push the flush handle to close the slide valve. Pull up on the rear latch to separate the upper tank from the lower tank. Carry the lower tank to an authorized waste disposal area or you can use a normal toilet. Rotate the discharge spout away from the tank and open the vent on the top of the holding tank. Empty the contents of the tank. If water is available, rinse the lower tank before reassembling the portable toilet. For portable toilets, Dometic offers these Max Control Advanced Pre-Measured Packets. Every time you empty the portable toilet waste tank, you add one of these 2-ounce packets. It controls odors without using formaldehyde, so there are no concerns with using or handling it, and it has a fresh, clean scent. The granulated tank treatment breaks down waste and is 100% biodegradable. So we're all guilty of being distracted from looking at the road ahead while driving. We look away from the road when we are trying to check our directions, our speed, respond to a text, or take a phone call. This is all really bad and dangerous. Well, head-up display technology gives you an option to keep your eyes on the road at all times while driving. There are a couple of products on the market today that, that provide that and Hardware Glass is one of them. So let's unpack it together, see what's inside and see how it works. Okay, so we have two types of mounts and you can choose either depending on the configuration of your dashboard. Peel off the tape and place it right here. And we'll take the second one and place it right here just to show you guys. All right. 
And so here, this is the glass itself. First, we have to peel off this tape because the circle in the middle will help holding your phone very sturdy. And then we can just snap it onto either of the mounts. See, the snap-on mechanism is very easy. Just place it like this, and that's it. And you can move it around, depending on your height and position of your chair. And uh, here's the flexible one. Very easy. And it's very flexible, and you can totally adjust any angle you'd like. But make sure that the glass itself stands at approximately 53 degrees. It will give the best visibility. Okay, so hardware glass will not work with your Google Maps or Waze, but it will work with any head-up display-based app that is available on your phone. If you have Android device, we recommend that you try it with Navmi app. It looks like that. But for iPhone users, please try it with Hardware Go. It's a great app. Download it, launch it, tap here to input your address. Choose from the list or input your own. Let's go to LAX, for example. Here you are, already calculated our route. Tap Let's Go and these are our directions. But in order to drive with hardware glass, we need to put directions in HUD mode. Tap on the screen, choose HUD mode, and now directions are inverted on your phone, but they will be perfect on your glass. All right, let's see how it actually works. Thank you.